Okay, so my office room is technically supposed to be the second bedroom, but I've transformed it into an office space. So this is what it looks like when you first walk in. I basically have it separated so that one side is set up kind of like my YouTube studio, and then the other side is set up for like my desk or office space. So we're just gonna turn and start right here. So I have these drawers. I actually had this one in my old apartment, but I bought a second one because now I literally have double the amount of products. So I needed more space to store things. In here, I keep mostly beauty products. Um, on this side, I have skincare. So all the way down is like skin and body care. And then in this side, I have makeup. Um, makeup prep things, brushes. I'm not gonna go through all of these because that would just take way too long. But yeah, this is pretty much where I keep most of my storage. I do have a closet over on this side that I have more things in, but we'll get to that in a second. Let me actually close this because. <laughs> so on top of here, I have this really random fixture. I think I got this in a PR and I put water in it and just some random plants that I got at Trader Joe's. Right above here, we have my 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque. And then I also have my little case that I got from Minga by Mario. I just decided to make it some decoration because it was so cute, but the actual container is empty now. Then right over here, I have some random books and then I have Matcha Business from Forever Mood. I actually haven't lit this candle yet, but it matches the room, so I have it as decoration. And that's all I have right here in this section. And we have Frenchie, who's always sniffing around. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably saw when I put these photos up on the wall. I got these prints off Etsy. I'll put the Etsy shop down below. They're really cheap, and I just printed them from FedEx. And I got these um, frames from Target. They're just regular wooden frames. And I put them up and I really love like just the whole black girl aesthetic that they give. And then let's go down to my desk. So this is my printer that I actually just got a few days ago. And I love it. It's the HP Tango X. I don't really need a fancy printer because I don't print much. So I don't have like copy and packs and all of that. It's just a really standard printer. But it's really cute because if you're not using it, you can take the paper out you can close it. And this becomes a little case. And it's so sleek, it's little, it fits perfect in my space. So I love, love, love this printer. Put it back together. I'll put the link to this printer down below. Then my computer, this is where I do my work from home for Apple. I actually do not own this computer, so I don't want y'all thinking that I own it. <laughs> it's Apple's property, but this is where I do my work from home and um, Going down, of course I have the keyboard and the mouse. This trackpad I also got from Etsy. I just also love the aesthetic. It matches the colors of my room. It's also really good quality, like it's really thick. So I also put the Etsy shop that I got this from down below. Of course I have some hand sanitizer on my desk and I have my premium Jane gummies, which at this point I have like Oh my god, I need a refill. I only have like two left. <laughs> I love keeping that at my desk just for when I get anxious or I just need like a chill pill. These work so, 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 so well. Okay, so my chair I got from Wayfair. I'm pretty sure that this chair is from like the Kelly Clarkson collection, but I just love the pop of color, the orange. And you can see that the bottom here is gold and on my desk it's silver. I'm actually gonna try to spray paint the little silver fixtures on my desk so it matches the bottom, but I've just been too lazy to do it right now. I also have a little candle on my desk. I like burning a candle when I'm sitting here, so. And then I have this really awesome wooden fixture. I got this off Amazon and it's really cool because it actually has a wireless charger on it. So you can set your phone on it and it'll start charging. I just have it plugged up to my computer since it's right here, but you can just plug it in the wall. It has a little spot for sticky notes, have some tape. I have my little business card here. And then just of course some pens, markers, scissors. And then I have a random selfie stick back there, but. <laughs> but yeah, this wooden fixture just fits perfectly with the whole wooden aesthetic that I have up here with 
the pictures and of course this random picture that I have here okay so going over to this part of my desk this is all one desk by the way it's connected and the desk is from Wayfair I'll have it linked down below of course so I thought it would be a really cute touch since I'm a beauty influencer to use like products as decoration so I have some products here that like match the colors of the room up here I just have some PR boxes that I got that I thought were really cute so there's one from NARS there's one from Givenchy there's one from NARS again and Giorgio Armani this is a really random fixture I think I found this on Urban Outfitters I'm really not sure but I just thought it was so cute it's a little naked booty and I at first had it right here on my desk but I just decided to put it up here I also have two random containers like empty shelving units back there that I had in my bedroom I'm just trying to find you know what I'm going to put on them that one is really for jewelry and that one I had in my bathroom but they're just sitting up there for now and then I had this really cute fake plant that I got from home goods you know when you go to home goods and you have those really random trips and you see things that you want I just bought it and it fits perfectly right here so some of the things I have on the shelves here this is just a really random Shea Moisture shampoo. It fits with the whole green aesthetic. Um, I have a candle here. This I got from Target. I have some Curl Smith products. Again, the orange color I think just fits really well with the aesthetic of the room. I have another candle. This one is actually almost empty already. This one is from Balupsa. Balupsa. <laughs> Balupspa. <laughs> And uh, this is one of my favorite candles, the Makara. I have a diffuser here that I also got from Target. I believe I got that diffuser when I bought this candle. I think they're the same scent, but I don't know why they wouldn't put the scent on the diffuser. But at this point, you can't even smell it anymore. It's pretty much empty, so I just have it there for decoration. And then I also have some products from Bare Minerals. Again, just because it fit the aesthetic of the room. You guys are probably seeing that aloe plant that I have stuffed back there in the back of some of my videos. I don't know why it's back there. I just don't have anywhere else to put it right now. So going down, I just have some more products on this shelf. Products from Kiehl's, products from Ren. I also have this really random plant that I bought off Etsy. It's not real, but I just really like the whole triangle look. Then we have some products from uh, Jackie's. Most of these products that I have on display, I've actually done sponsorships for. So that's another like symbolic reason why I have them there. I have another candle. I don't really burn this candle though because it has wooden wicks. And I don't really like wooden wicks like that. Like I don't like the cackling. That's the only reason why I don't like wooden wicks, but it just matched again, so I have that there. And then I have a random uh, eye palette. This is the 420 eyeshadow palette from Melt. And then this little stretch thing that I got from Dr. Dennis Gross when they sent me, I think it was their anti-stress collection, actually. I think one of the main ingredients is avocado, so this is a little squishy stretch ball thing. I just have it sitting here and then going down I have some pictures I have some files so I have it split up between like personal business and stuff like that um, down here I have a photo of me and my parents when I graduated and then a photo of me and my best friends we went to Vegas for my friend Devin's birthday and then under there is just random stuff so I think I have like push pins tape some wipes uh, electronic wipes and then down here, I have a bunch of stuff that I got from Sephora for the Sephora squad, um, my makeup case, and then just some refill paper for my printer. And that's pretty much everything for like the office space side of my room. So we're gonna go over here to the YouTube side, which is what you guys see in the back of my videos. Frenchie really likes to lay down here. Most of the time when I'm recording, Frenchie is down here sleeping. <laughs> so everything that you guys see in the back of my videos here, I bought at Home Goods. Um, these two candle fixtures, Home Goods. The candles came separately, but I also got them at Home Goods. I actually need to clean this because they've kind of melted a little bit, so they're starting to drip. I also got this little fixture from Home Goods, and these I believe I bought at Joanne Fabrics. I'm pretty sure I got these at Joanne Fabrics. Painting is also from Home Goods. I just love like this whole crushed diamond look. And then I got my little KA fixtures from Home Goods as well. It's so funny because I went to Home Goods this day to buy pillows and I came out with all of these things because 
when I saw them together, I'm like, this would be a really cute background. <laughs> and then down here, I just keep a lot of products that I get in PR. So I just don't forget to like show them or try them. Or I just have products here that I haven't tried yet so that they're like in my face and I don't forget to go ahead and pick them up and try them sometimes. Cause if I just like throw everything that I have away in my storage, I will forget to like show it so I try to keep things that I haven't tried here or I also just have some things that I frequently use in my videos so that they're easily accessible this is the only little cube that I don't have products in because I keep like my chargers and um just things that I use for filming here and I keep these here because there's actually two outlets so it's perfect to just put things I have to charge so then over here um in Frenchie's little corner this actually used to be the chair that I used to film you guys probably remember seeing this this like random white chair I just put a cover over it because it's really dirty and it irritates me how dirty it is so I just have this blanket over it and I put a pillow over it and it's just kind of sitting there in the corner right above it I have this that I also got from Home Goods. It says she created a life she loved. And then over here on this wall, I have my calendar. And right above it, I have my goals and manifestation board. <laughs> so you guys can see up top, I just have some photos of some things that I want, just so I can see it when I'm in here and it'll motivate me to keep working. In that top corner, I actually wrote a check to myself for a million dollars i printed that offline so i'll put the link down below if you guys want to do that it's kind of like a manifestation technique and then i just have like some personal goals savings goals and then my business goals and savings goals over there if you go over here um this is of course where i set to do my youtube videos i got this little stool from amazon oh i forgot to mention i got this case from target and it was really easy to put together too. So yeah, over here is where I sit to do my YouTube videos. Um, you guys can see, I got my lights and that's where my camera sits. I don't usually have the lights this close, but um, when I'm filming, I'll just push them out to the side. Let's start over in this corner. So I have like the makeup that I use the most often right here, just so that it's easily accessible for me while I'm filming. So I have all of my makeup brushes. Um, these are like some of my favorite setting sprays, um, foundation, and things like that for easy access. In these drawers, I also have like just some of my makeup or like face essentials so that they're all right here when I'm ready to film. And I also just keep like palettes or new things that I wanna try. Again, just so that they're easy for me to get while I'm sitting right here. I got this off Wayfair and it's technically not designed for this. I think it's actually designed for people that do like sewing or fabric because it has this little thing on the side where you can put fabric. I usually have paper towels here, but I'm out right now. <laughs> I just always found it so handy to keep paper towels here while I'm doing my makeup or filming. Then over here on my desk, I have my Sephora Squad mirror, which is so cute. I actually just put my Sephora Squad stickers on the back of it that Sephora just sent me. I use that to see myself while I'm recording. This is where I keep my mic. This is my mic stand. I'm currently using the mic, so that's why it's not there. And then this is the tripod that I use when I film on my phone. So I just keep this here because sometimes, wow. <laughs> sometimes when I'm filming a YouTube video, I also film like Instagram stories. So it's good to have this right here for easy access. And then of course I have my lovely computer. And when I'm filming, I just have it open. Oh, wow, it's so dirty. I just have it open so that I can use this as my viewfinder for me to see myself. I'm gonna close that because I need to clean that. And then down underneath, I also just have some things that are handy for while I'm filming. So I have like tweezers, nail clippers, um, hair pins. I have some makeup wipes, some Vaseline. I have lip balm because my lips be dry. <laughs> um, I have pretty much anything I would actually have to get up and go grab while I'm filming right under here. I also have um, edge controls. Um, I have hair gel, I have a little towel. And then I also have um, this one size mirror that one size sent me from Sephora. And then I have this little paddle from Sephora that I can put like foundation and things on. I pretty much came up with this idea and this idea just from experience of sitting down to film and not having everything that I could possibly need 
right here in front of me. So this setup is really, really functional for me. It works so well. I can just come in here. Everything's already laid out the right way. I can come in, sit down, and just turn on the camera. It's awesome. <laughs> I haven't, I've never had that before I had this room. So I'm gonna also show you guys this closet. Oh, in that corner over there is just some old um, tripod things that I had for my old lighting, but I don't use those anymore. They're just kind of chilling back there. But in this closet is where I keep more, more things. So I actually used to use this Ikea table to film, but it's really wobbly and it's glass, so it's kind of annoying. So I just had the idea to put it in here and use it as storage. So down here I have just like nail things. Um, I have my extra lenses for my camera here. In these drawers is where I keep uh, SD cards, cords, um, extra chargers, extra batteries for my camera. Just like little things that I would lose if I didn't have them somewhere like this. This is my old mirror that I used to use for filming. And then this is just some random stuff like curl rollers, uh, fixtures, just really random things. And then down here, um, these are all of my backdrops. They should not be balled up like that, but they are. So <laughs> I get all of my backdrops from Joanne Fabrics. They're all just pieces of fabric that I'll put up on the wall when I'm ready to use the different colors. And I usually just get about three yards and it works fine for my backdrops. Down here, I just have um, boxes. So these are like the boxes that my camera came in, AirPods box. These are all of my different chargers and cords, extra things, I don't really touch that often, like <laughs> my uh, manuals for my cameras, just, a whole bunch of random things down here is where i keep some props that i use sometimes for content and then i also have um more tripods so this is a mini tripod that i use sometimes for my small camera um i don't use this anymore but this is like a clip-on tripod that i used to use everything that i have in here i don't really use much anymore so that's why it's stuffed away in this closet i actually use this closet as my main closet so i have like a lot of my actual things in here hats and scarves my gym clothes swim clothes up there i just have purses and bags and things like that and then over here on the other side i have all of my hair products so let's go over there so yeah on the other side of the closet up top i have more bags and then down here i have all of my hair products if you've been following me for a while, you probably have seen this little fixture in the back of my videos, but I didn't really like how cluttered it looked, so I just moved it inside the closet and it works really well just to store all my hair stuff because I can't put those in the drawers because they would just spill all over the place. So now they're all nice and organized by brand in here. And that fixture is also from Ikea. I've, I've had that for years though. It's so old. And then over here in this corner, I just have like the bags that all of my equipment came in. And that is pretty much it. This is my closet storage space. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little tour. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you plan to buy anything that's in here or if you got any inspiration. And hopefully I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.